just wanted to do a quick update because uh, uh, one of the community members uh, he requested or wrote a comment on one of the videos to say hey uh, could I do an update on uh, Suntec so what I've done was that uh, yes that prompted me to invest more time to read things in details so whatever I'm going to do through right now is what went through my mind uh, as an investor because I am a Suntech unit holder okay uh, what I did was uh, went to the website downloaded this first quarter update okay definitely good thing is that uh, first quarter highlights distributing distributable income uh, increase DPU also increase right so while I'm looking at these results, right, uh, I am coming from a business owner point of view. So it is nice to know that, yes, uh, things have improved. Okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to let the community member know, or perhaps you know, is that at the end, right, with this information, do I, how do I know whether do I go and buy or put more money into uh, something? Right, so that's the part that I need to address at the end of the video. Definitely, first thing, uh, I just want to make sure that uh, contribution by assets. That's the key thing. Is each asset uh, contributing more or contributing less to the whole read? So whenever I get the business updates, that's the first thing I'll look at. Uh, of course, if I look at this part, which is the gross revenue. Right, uh, my main intent when I bought Suntech back then was because of the convention, right, which is something that later I'll highlight in the contribution by assets. So, what I can see is that, uh, you see here, right, first thing you already told me the con Suntech convention has reduced drastically, right? So when the re initial reason of buying is not there anymore, I have two positions. One, don't put in more capital. Two, hold on to uh, the existing stakes that I have. So right now, if you ask me, I am not putting in more money. I'm just uh, sitting at the sidelines because uh, I do have uh, better alternatives. Okay. But on a general, um, I, what I wanted to do is to see that okay most of the things that uh, like for example the office you know these numbers are they almost back to equivalent or before the COVID but definitely as we know that uh, REITs uh, is uh, physical buildings the only way is that they can increase revenue is when there are footfall back into their premises. So if in the lights of COVID, right, uh, this has already pointed out a business risk and going forward, it is also a change of uh, consumer habits because consumer habits, uh, once change, can disrupt, can be a sudden disruption. So COVID uh, accelerated that disruption. Um, I'm just going to show here, yes, same thing, I look at the numbers again, right, because I want to do this one as a quick update, okay, all these numbers, right, even for the something, of course, yes, this still hurts, the negative, okay, so this is the part that I wanted, uh, if you are investing in risk for the first time or you are my fellow unit holder. Uh, now I will really pay attention to this slide, which is the contribution by assets. So we can see that majority of the bulk was done by uh, Suntec City. Right. So even for other REITs, if you want to buy it, uh, this contribution by asset uh, is important because you want to make sure that, for example, if there is an impact Right to this Suntech City, you know that it's going to almost hit like 50% of the results. Coming back down here is the last part, which is the valuations, right? Um, I'll just give two things. 
One is the upper band. The upper band, right? So let's just say it's the upper band. And I'm assuming that the lower band, uh, I'm assuming that you're going to uh, buy read space for the use. I, I'm not buying reads for the book value. So there's upper band and lower band. The lower band is very simple. Worst case scenario, no dividends. Right, just to be practical. The upper band uh, is where I'm going to go through next. Uh, so we know that in the first quarter of 2021, it gave around 2.04 cents. I'm just going to round it up just to 2 cents. 2 cents, huh? That's for quarter one, two zero two one. Back then, uh, this quarter, right, the circuit breaker in Singapore has uh, opened up. So, now I'm recalling the exact conditions that led to this business called Suntech Week, being able to generate two cents for this quarter. So back then, uh, quarter one two zero two zero, lockdown hasn't happened. So now, if I say that hey, using this as a baseline quarter, quarter one two zero two one. Right, can I assume that the whole financial year for two zero two one, each quarter gets two cents. So if I know that, so if each quarter gives me two cents. One full financial year gives me eight cents. With a eight cents and a current share price of uh, around one point five, I think the I think the percentage is a bit more more than five, right? Share price. So let's go down share price. Roughly one point five. So percentage you. It's around five or a bit more. Question will be as investors, right? You got two choices. Either we invest more or are there alternatives? Right? So uh right as of now, like I mentioned, uh, I do have other alternatives, even though I know that uh the REIT portfolio is meant to boost my parents' retirement portfolio. So yes, I do have this. Okay, if you find that uh, some tech read is something that you know and you are very comfortable with, yes, probably you can consider this. If you are happy, oh no, I won't say happy. If your man, your investment mandate was to look for any instrument that can give you five percent or more. So this is what I wanted to do as an update. A very quick short one, not too detailed, because I guess in the end, with all the information that we have on hand, uh, it is to help, is to facilitate uh, decision making. So thanks for tuning in. Yes, and if you have any questions, you can always drop them into the questions of the video. Uh, I'll be reading them.